the Halloween episode. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Here's Your No Podcast, episode 84. Round of applause, please. I know I got a heart. Cause it's breaking. Hey everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 84, the Halloween edition episode. God, it feels so good for our second annual Halloween episode. We are in costume. We are feeling good. We are fresh from a New York live show in real time. It hasn't happened yet. But guys, if you're new here, if you haven't already, look below. You see that subscribe button isn't pressed. You're wrong. If you look even more below there, you see the comment section isn't fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go and fill that out. Get your good karma. Do it for my heart. Do you get it? Because it's the Wizard of Oz and I'm the Tin Man. Do you get it? Audio listeners, you're so confused. You don't, you're missing out really visually, but listen to the audio version. Have it all in your head, your preconceived notions, then go over to the YouTube and watch it all over again. It's going to be a fully different experience. Guys, we have an announcement yes new york show it is done it was great hopefully it hasn't happened yet but we do have a couple more la tickets for december 7th at the regent theater los angeles the tickets are going to be in the description below it is sold out faster than any other show it's not sold out yet but it, it will very soon so if you even you're thinking about coming if you're near california if you're in california if in la Get your tickets in the description below, the Regent Theater, December 7th. We also have another announcement. We have expanded to another social media platform. We're on Facebook. Round of applause for Facebook. We realize we're neglecting a whole other audience and the Facebook. I know a lot of you have been talking about it, and I know a lot of y'all, we have great fans and great supporters, and a lot of people have made Facebook fan pages for us, but we have an official one. So make sure you follow the Facebook page that is in the description below. We're going to be posting long clips on there, extended clips. We're going to be giving out little secret stuff only on the Facebook. So be sure to go to that Facebook page, follow it, like the page, get your mama, your grandma, and your auntie, your uncle to go mess with us over at Facebook because I know a lot of them don't have YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, but I know they have Facebook. So get your whole family involved on the You Should Know podcast. We love you guys so much. We hope you have a happy Halloween and I want to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know podcast. What is a heartless t- <laughs> without his don't look at me. Look at your camera. Let them see that. We're back, baby. We're the Second of annual. We got co host Cam. Back in the. St- I can't do this. I don't know if I'll be able to perform under these conditions. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do. I think that's what he says. Our, our pumpkins are falling. <laughs> we got co-host Cam back in the studio. This is a mess. No, this is insane. This Bro, is- we're the Wizard of Oz cast. We are. We, we are, are the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> look at <him. sighs> Look at me. Dude, you look insane. I like the touch of the boots that you put on. 100%. The uh, Ugg boots, it, go- it just goes with the skin, you know. The, p- the pants are, are riding up right now, so don't worry about that. Oh, you got your courageous badge. I do, because I'm the... I'm not the cowardly lion anymore, sire. I'm courageous. Rawr! Okay, no, no, no. First things first. Okay. Are you clothed this year? I do have, I have panties on. Okay. I do have panties. Round of applause for Peyton wearing clothes under his garments this year. It's because I'm not wearing a, a one piece. That's true. So yeah. if you were wearing this, you'd be naked. I would be, my, my, my manhood would be hitting my knees. Jesus Christ. The, <laughs> Like, I honestly don't, right now, I don't feel like we're on the You Should Know podcast. No, at all. I feel like I'm in a sick dream. Yeah, it doesn't feel real. It's it's spooky outside. It's raining. We're getting on a plane tomorrow to go yeah. to New York. This is just, it's different. Oh, oh my God. Hmm. My lip touched my mic. You would think I just got spit on. Like, like I put chapstick of spit on my lip. We're, I don't know what you're saying. My, my mic. It's so wet right now. You're sitting here. <laughs> Thanks for round another fucking round of applause for like what? Why is it wet? Let me grab your mittens. <laughs> so so. 
You got a cute little bow. Your costume, I don't know if the camera's picking it up. It's low key uh, ghetto. You got to you got uh, tape. Wow. You got tape. Why do I have tape? Because you don't know how to handle things with care. No, because you ripped my bow off like a barbarian. Previously, maybe twenty minutes ago, you just snatched it off my head, ripped it. No, because because can't. God. <laughs> Bro, you can oh, tell you've oh, never had long hair. Ever. Yeah, sorry, Troy Palomalu. No, I didn't have it. Oh, but you have something to commemorate me on your on your uh, on your costume. And what would that be? The tail. The t I do. I do have a tail. This is for Peyton. I have my tail with me. Uh, this looks crazy. This Why are you going between the 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 legs like yeah, that? Yeah, I gotta move. That's that's not <laughs> yeah, a good. Yeah, it's not a good look. This is a children's program. There we go. It's not a children's program. You're gonna say something I like him just be like this. It comes to life. It's just like I don't feel mobile right now. I don't feel safe. I, it's, it's like I'm in a, a ghillie suit of like a <laughs> like you could go to war and do fine. Yeah, you kind of look like Hercules a little bit. Yeah, I look like a uh, well, I don't know, bro. I look like Conan the Barbarian <laughs> and then obviously a damn lion. But how are you feeling, Bubba? How's your week this week? You know this this week. It's just it's been a hell of a week. Okay, the ups and downs. It's just good. I like I'm just proud to be here. To be myself, what I do, if you just, whatever you're doing, you got to keep doing it because it's just, it means a lot to you and I know it does and you just got to fight through. Like, don't let, don't let any outside noise, anything else come in, just keep grinding. If you got to do something, you do it to the best of your ability. You're exactly where you are for an exact reason. You're just, you're doing it. You right there. I'm talking to you. Everyone needs to know that you're doing great. Life is getting weird. The world is getting scary. And you're just doing you're doing it good. I just want you to know that from me, the, the courageous cowardly lion, that you're doing a good job. I don't I actually don't know what just came about me. I don't know if I had the damn courage medal and I just went on a rant. I just realized that I talked for 25 seconds straight. I've never there's so much hair in my face. What the? What? What was that? What was it? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't. It was. But damn it, I mean it. I. Hey, I'm not gonna lie to you. I prefer your bland answers over that shit inspirational speech. That was good. Someone's gonna feel that. No, you look like a lion. That is true. But with a bow in your hair and you have whiskers. Cam, you're just gonna have to live with it, dog. You can't just keep the whole episode. There you but go. But every time I laugh, it's gonna go back. You kind of look like a. You look like a. You look like Jesus a little. Oh, bit. If this is what my Lord and Savior. <laughs> what does my clock say? Uh, like three o'clock. I don't know how to read in the Roman. It. That's Roman numerals, dog. You don't know how to read a clock. I'm not Roman numerals. You suck. One, two. Oh, it's a clock. At the end of the day. Yeah, it's a clock. Damn. So it says it's it's it that's actually extremely <laughs> inaccurate, but cause it says twelve fifteen, but the hand's not anyway. I, I I have something to say. I'm excited about New York. It's already happened, but I'm excited to go to New York. I'm so excited. We leave tomorrow. We leave tomorrow. It's gonna be fantastic. What's what's your most uh, anticipated thing about New York? Just meeting our New York fans. Golly. Performing again. It's been a little minute. Yeah. Uh, that's just going to be super fun. It's always fun to just share those moments with y'all. And then, of course, we're going to take, I'm not going to say what day it is, but we're going to take one of the days while we're down there to just be in New York. Why can't you say what day it is? We're back already. Uh, that's true. We're probably going to take <laughs> Sunday to go. I just didn't want to get like, you know, yeah. I want to be able to enjoy it and just see things we've never seen. I've been to New York. He's never been here. Never yet. been to New he York. He has no clue what's waiting for him. No. You're going to be walking down there and be like, yo, hey, you tall. You got an ox for me, huh? I'd be like, huh? I don't have an ox. What is an ox? <laughs> no, like I the cattle? I didn't know. We still trade the cattle, Sire. <laughs> no, but New York is, uh, it's fantastic. It's fun place. This, you got to stop, dude. This shit is, there's so much hair. Every, I, am, I am wet. Every time I look at you, you're like this. Yeah, I am. I am absolutely wet. Um, in multiple areas. Can we talk about including the area you think? Oh, I have I'm a trick for that. I have a trick for that. You have a trick for a wet. So crotch. this is what I do. Like you have a trick for a wet crotch. You have to make sure that you have. You hump the air. You have to make one. sure, dude. My panties are in me right now. Wh which part is my? I have a, <laughs> I have a, uh, a trick for my wet crotch that I do at home whenever I'm alone. You have to make sure you have soap though. Oh my god. Hand soap. This is a trick or a bath? No. So what you do is. You you three finger scoop it. Okay, like, okay. You three finger scoop. You we should three stop there. And you get the webbing, and you and you can really collect. Collect you, what? <laughs> what are you collecting? The sweat. What is coming off of you? The sweat and whatever's living down there. 
whatever's li- so you're gonna three finger you're gonna hit it with a little give me a double scoop on a waffle cone yeah. you're gonna waffle cone your crotch with yeah. hand soap yeah and there's gonna be solids that come yeah. out and then you got to check the area you need surgery you got to check the area you sniff it yeah you sniff your three finger waffle you cone s- after scooping the webbing he says and then if you're experimenting that day all right bill nye you need a re- what, what are you gonna bake it oh my no 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 you've never done that that's bullshit tell me you're lying right now Tell me you're lying right now. You've never done that. You've never done that. <laughs> no, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. See, I even that little bullshit, little that little nose touch sniff at the end. I'm so it, itchy, bro. It has me concerned. You're itchy. Oh, uh, I have something to add to my costume. <laughs> what? Because I'm the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. Exactly. Are you going to paint your face silver? No. What, do you, what did you add? I'm the evil I'm the evil Tin Man. You look like the Tin Man from a trailer park. <laughs> you don't look e- <laughs> I'm choking on my locks. Take uh, those out! He never they're not even in right! Oh my god! He never once had vampire teeth. But he wasn't there for Halloween. You don't know him, and he didn't wear, he did not wear teeth. Okay, but I could be a vampire tin man, or I could be a walrus tin man. Hey, well, you're not a walrus. You're not, arr, arr, arr. Walruses don't bark. They go, arr, arr. that's a walrus. Okay, you're not 600 pounds and blubbery. You're blubbery, but you're not 600. Yeah, get him out. What did you buy? Like a, a youth size? All right, bro. You. It was dry in there. It was dry in my gums. It was dry in my gums. Dude, this like stabbing my tooth. You want it? I'll it, pay you five hundred dollars right now. I'm not putting Put that in my mouth. mouth. I'm not putting that in my mouth. I'm not putting that in my mouth. Thousand dollars. I'm not putting that in my mouth. A thousand dollars. I'm not putting, that in, my I'm not putting that in my mouth. Fifteen hundred dollars. I'm not you're not you're gonna get to two thousand dollars. Not do, two grand, Cam. I'm not putting that cash. I'm not putting it first off, you, you would can't, not non taxable. You would not give me that much money. Yeah, to I will. Put two it. grand. No. <laughs> I'm not, I can't. I can't, dog. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah, it's like, it's oozing. No, I can't. I can't. Come on, two grand. Two? <laughs> I can't. How much? I can't. All right, final offer. Final offer. And I'm dead ass. Look at me, Cam. Look at me, little. No, you're not. Look at me, little lion. You're not dead ass. I'm not a little lion. Five grand. You're not Cash. dead ass. You would never give me that. Five grand. Shake my hand. You would never Scout's honor. Me. Scout's honor. Five grand. All right, Katniss Everdeen, relax. Scout, I'm, Scout's I can't put those in my mouth. I can't. Five grand? I can't. I can't. Okay, dead ass. Final offer. No, that one. None of these are dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. The uh, second on we Malcolm Jerome, Nathaniel Esquire, Hard in the Third's life. I don't want your money that bad. It's my pride. I ten can't, grand. I cannot put those ten bands. Cam, I will give you ten thousand dollars. Put these in your mouth. No. <laughs> ten grand. Come on. Ten grand. I can't, bro. I can't. I can't. Okay, now you're spitting in it. Oh my fu- oh my heaven on earth. Oh my god. Put that down right now. Somebody would have taken 10 grand for the it. The fact that you would- the fact that you're even trying to make me do that is ridiculous. I want- it's content! That is- it, that's- it's a disease. I have my mouth is clean. No. I think I do have ginger ale. Um... <laughs> the soda. Ginger ale. No, cause when You have gingivitis. When I wake up in the morning, my breath is reeking. Yeah. Like, it smells like, if you were to take- you probably sleep like this. <laughs> You're like, just open, bare, and alone, and afraid. <laughs> do with me what you shall. <laughs> no, I wake up, and it's like, how do I explain it? It's like you take Play-Doh, right? And that salty Play-Doh, See, you mix some blood in it, <laughs> then some mud, and you swirl it around, and maybe some Sprite. And then you, and then that's what my breath smells like. Maybe some tomato, too. As I've said before, you need surgery on multiple. I, I, I like we need to we need a GoFundMe for you, and we need to send you to a doctor and just say fix him. No. Yes. I just need a I need a shot Armpit, in the gum. A shot in the gum. Yeah. You need a shot with a to somewhere else. That's what you need. I'm just kidding, bro. You, did you just say blood? Yeah. Mud, and what was the other one? Do you never wake up with a bloody mouth? Dead ass. Dead ass. Do you never wake up with a bloody mouth? Bro, if you wake up with blood. Inside that's, of your mouth. That's not good, right? You're possessed. Like you're you're not you're, you're not yourself. 
something happened to you when you were in your slumber. Why? You went to sleep. Why? Stop that. You went to sleep and someone was with you. And someone like, out of this realm. So if you push on the back, I think it's my permanent retainers. If you push on the back, so like when I go like this, right? Like I can make my gums look like this in the morning. Like they oh. look like that. You have a disease. Yeah, so if I push on the back of my back, my bottom teeth too hard, it will ooze blood out of the crevices. Off the wake up. Nose for act two. <laughs> what did you just say? <laughs> Nose for act two. <laughs> what? Are you, that's the demon inside of you. That's that is that's his name. That's his name. <laughs> don't spit on me. I can't. That wasn't. Be careful. No, don't do that. <laughs> Nose for act two. Oh, oh, uh, um, uh, SpongeBob. Yeah. In the ooze, in the, in the walls, uh, in the walls will ooze green, and the phone will ring, but no one will answer. Nose for rack to. Bro, I'm like gagging I over know. I'm literally about to throw up. The hair keeps getting in my mouth. Your eyes are watering. Bro, I'm, I'm literally over here. Nose for rack to. <laughs> Your thumbnail. Um, oh, holy shit. This I'm is something wet. I've learned about myself. Well, I've, I've known it about myself, but I saw it in action. And I thought I was doing better. I've been taking classes oh, for my social anxiety on YouTube. I'm so <laughs> YouTube University. It's I'm literally, so no, I've literally YouTubed how to help social anxiety. And I've been using t tips and tricks. One of the per person said, pinch your, pinch your thigh. And I was like, I don't think that's healthy. You should use better help, <laughs> not YouTube. You said ticks, trips, and tips. Ticks, trips, and tricks. What the hell is that? I'm having a panic. You are. A the, tips. T the, t the aluminum, the, the, the mercury seeping through your blood. I have a heart now, though. <laughs> tips and tricks to help social anxiety. But okay. I've been using it, but I, I, I've had a recession okay. back. And I've learned I lie a lot. Yeah. Welcome. This is where you can go, yeah, why, why? Yeah, you do. No, but not to my friends. Okay. To strangers. In public. And I've talked about it a little bit on the podcast before. Like when people ask for directions, I, <gasps> I send them on a on a on a trail to, to Narnia. Like I, you don't, I don't know where you're going. Bridge to Be careful. Um, what? <laughs> so, I was at Starbucks the other day. I went to a foreign Starbucks because the Starbucks I normally drive through way too long. I had somewhere to be. Mm -hmm. I said I googled the next closest Starbucks. Kay. I went to the next closest Starbucks and I went to the drive through. Less of a drive through, less people. I think I'm about to pass out. Genius. No, me too. And so, um, I googled it and I went and I went up to the thing and I ordered. <laughs> No, no, we bro, no, no, no. There's no way. There's no way this cannot be. Why do we have trash cans? It's Why do you have We're filming. cups? Keep your bodily fluids to yourself. This is a public service announcement. To anybody watching? Don't do the shit he does. Don't spit on rugs when in conversation. But if you own the rug. You could spit on it. We bought it. We! You can spit. I don't want to. Well, I want to preserve I do, it. I, I, you look crazy. And no, you are crazy. I might look like a furry friendly favorite, but, <laughs> but you can Can I tell you my Starbucks story? Without spitting. Yeah. I can like really grip this mic and it's like it's I slipping can't. off. Look at me. <laughs> so I went up to the Starbucks and I've never been. I've never been in a Starbucks. I ordered my drink. Okay. Can I have a venti strawberry acai uh, lemonade with no berries? Yeah, I hope y'all hear that. By the way, he gets a strawberry lemonade. Hold the berries. I don't want the. Okay. I don't want. Right. The, I hate. That's when, called a lemonade. I hate when I. <laughs> I hate when I'm. I'm drinking a drink and the, the and his friends come with it. I hate whenever there's a solid in my liquid. You have such just a bitch mouth. Like you. Re you really do, dog. I, I can't take it. Honestly, I. I can't take it. You don't like when friends come with liquids. You don't give me my tail. That is my, yeah, you're, you're you touched my manhood. You touched all of me, okay? You have a bitch mouth for multiple reasons. It, it, the slightest inconvenience of a little bit of saliva, you're like, ooh, no, it's got to leave. Yeah. You don't like mucus. Uh -uh. You don't like your own boogers. Those are all connected in some way, no, shape, or form. Not. You ask for lemon. You, you literally order strawberry lemonades without the strawberries, and then you say, when I drink things, I don't want his friends to come with it. That sounds insanely suspect. I don't want his friends to come with it. Courage lion is angry lion. Tin man is stupid tinfoil.
foil is what you are. <laughs> no, but I'm saying I went up. She didn't know me, right? The lady didn't know me because I've never been there. Yeah. She didn't. The screen wasn't on, right? It's where the camera you can see in. Okay. So she was just off my voice. Mm-hmm. She go. I say, can I have a strawberry venti acai lemonade with no berries, please? And she goes, oh, I know this order. I know exactly who this is. Okay. And I, at that point, I said, ha ha, do ya? And she goes, yeah. She was like, it's good to hear from you again. And oh. I go, you too. And then I, and she goes, what else do you want? And I said, uh, can I have a double smoked bacon sandwich? She goes, yep, I knew it was you. And I go, oh, it's so good hearing from you again. You've, you've never spoke to this woman. A day in your life. And I cry. <laughs> I hate being put in those situations. Your lace front is horrible. I saw all your edges. That is not, that is not a situation. To lie to? Be a human being and say, oops, must be the wrong person. Yeah, but I've why inconvenience her and embarrass her? Why lie and then cry in your test like a freak bag afterwards? Huh? You want to do that? Play pick your poison? My, my car is a good cry spot. What are your favorite cry spots? We're not just jumping ship. You literally, she, she what, how is that embarrassing for her? Oh, sorry, ma'am. You must not. It's not like you said it over a microphone in front of a valley of people. But then what if she goes, no, it is you. Stop playing games. I go, okay, what's my government? What's my middle name? Huh? It's me? Huh? What if she goes, Terry? And then I'd I'm say, Terry hey, for I'd the day. I'd say, hey, that's not me. Wrong guy. <laughs> Give me my lemonade. Hold the berries. Have a good day. That's what you do. That's rude, though. You're rude to people. I am not rude to people. You are rude to waiting staffs. You just... No, I'm not. Yes, that is one thing about Cam. We've talked about it before. Can we tell the the bacon story? No, I'm not. I'm not rude. I'm just a little spicy. You need a heart. No, and you need hair. I have hair. Oh. No, you... You look at my ass? For everyone in the Discord. That's for you right there. Caught him in 4K. This is like there, there, by the way, in our Discord, there was a there was a debate. Who likes whose ass more? Yeah, it's definitely no. You're, it's you. You are infatuated with your. Oh, my beard is my my beard's moving itself. My beard has moved it down itself. for now. No, Cam is very into my ass. No, I'm not off camera. I'm just open about it. I I appreciate your butt. This is what Cam. Oh my God! Now I'm about to expose you. Since you want to play that game, do you want me to expose you? Yes or no? You can try. Look, Cam has a wife, right? Cam's wife has clothes. Cam, That's typically how that works. Cam is infatuated with how his rumpus looks now that he works out. Because I've always had the wagon in the group. No, you. And now Cam is finally catching up. He's not there yet, but he's catching up. So, I kid you not, Liv calls me, FaceTimes me, and she goes, look what my husband did. Turns the camera around. Cam has on. A pair of Olivia's tights that have the scrunchy ass that make your ass look better. And then he jumped in them. Cam, strike me now. May God strike you if I am lying. Three things. One, my wife asked slash demanded me to try it on. So, so... Oh my God, it's going to be hard for you to get into the heavenly gate to meet our father. So... I did as she requested, being a good husband. What the hell did you just say? I did as she requested, being a good husband. What is that word you're saying? I did as she requested, <laughs> as a good husband. What? I did as she requested. I did as you. I did as she requested. Am I tripping right now? No, you might just be an idiot. Here we go, buddy. Hey, remove the tin. I did as she requested. Oh. Like a good husband. I can't be the only one that was confused with what you no, said. No, you are. I did as she requested. <laughs> so, it was on for five seconds. Because mm-hmm. we were laughing because I got out of the shower. Apparently, ass was assing. Wife said, you're thick. I said, don't say that. She said, no, but you are. And I said, wait, am I? I looked. She said, try these on. <laughs> you're a liar. You're lying. And you, Okay, my wagon is as of a Chevy Trailblazer. Your wagon is like the little sidecar on those piece of shit motorcycles. Your shit is tiny. You're frail. You don't want to play this game. This costume might not do justice. It's definitely me. Thank you. And those tight-ass stupid... These are tight? They're not tight. And you're lucky I'm dressed like a beast. Yes or no? Did you do this whenever you put on her tights? You, you turn towards me. No, absolutely camera, not. And you absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You're like you're, you're, you're gonna have our time. <gasps> you're gonna have a hard time getting to the kingdom. You, now you're Putin. You are. I mean, you are. God. 
Every single thing about you just reminds me of a 12 year old. You know what? I'm not dirty. I am going to ro Oh, I'm about to get you. I have something in here that I haven't even prepared you in our pre-production meeting. Cam is dirtier than me. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Never a day in my life. You want to know why? I have two examples. Never a day in I my life. I have two examples. I, I, and I will strike both down because you are lying. You are the fabricated dirty man. I spent the night- Trash man, garbage guy. That's what you are. Garbage guy, that's you. I spent the night at Cam's house, yes or no? Yep. Did I bathe at your house? Yes. So I was in the shower that you shower oh with. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I already look, know what you're about to say. Cam and his wife have two separate sections of the shower for their body and hair stuff, right? Yep. I look at Cam's wife's side, filled with colorful things. A lot of aesthetic, like, soaps, shampoos, conditioners. Separate bottles. <laughs> I look I over already, at Cam's Jesus side Christ. of the shower. Cam uses... Five in one shampoo, conditioner, body wash, lotion, hair follicle. What I don't even know what five things you can fit in one bottle. And Cam, really, how do you do that? Defend yourself, Cam. Five in one. How does that even work? Fabrication. Work? Absolute lie. There wasn't a five in one shampoo, body wash, face wash, ass wash, feet wash, shampoo and conditioner. That was like 13 in one. You can literally brush your teeth with that <laughs> bottle too. You're disgusting. <laughs> yes, it was there. Okay, whose was it? It was not Olivia's. Okay. It was not mine. It was alone. I I was out. I went across the street to a Dollar General. The only thing they had. So yes, I bathed with a, a Dollar General five and one. It's not a regular basis. Don't you dare play me, because I put you on the greatest Yo, body so wash. Cam goes, I put you on the greatest Cam body wash. Cam does this when he showers, right? He's like, he has one <laughs> bottle. He squirts them in his hand. He's like, let me get my nuts real quick. He gets that. Then he's like, let me get my pits. And then he's like, oh, let me get my face. Okay, okay. He's like, oh, wait, I can wash my hair with this suit. Imagine that. It's. You are dirty. That's, you have to do what you have to do sometimes. That's why you smell like a freshly mowed lawn. It's all they had. Of, oh, grass. I, I smell like grass. You smell like wet pennies. Uh, <laughs> you smell like a Labrador retriever that's I been playing. I smell like pennies. Blood mouth over here thinks I smell like copper. Okay, yeah, I, my mouth bleeds when I wake up. So what? You smell like a seven-year-old soccer trophy at the end of the season. That's what you smell like. You just won the game on the little on the little field. You didn't score. You definitely didn't oh, score. I was the lead MVP every year. You were the MVP of soccer every year. Name two positions. There was no positions at that age. It was run around. That's how you know you never played regulation soccer as a kid. You, you run suck. around and play. I had eight goals in one game. No, you did not. I swear to God. I swear to God. I was f six foot three in seventh grade. I'm surprised they let you play. <laughs> No, my mom would have to bring a birth certificate to every game because the other parents would be like, Oh, get her. Who is that girl? Because I had long hair. And they're like, <laughs> I thought you were talking about your mom. Holy shit! You had a tail for real, and oh! I had long hair, buck teeth. I was tall and skinny, and I had very smooth skin. Oh. <laughs> so they thought I was a woman, and so they'd be like, "Stop that girl! That girl about 15. Just because she a girl, she can't play in here." And then be wait, like, wait, "Wait, wait! So you were playing with other girls? Nothing with guys. Come on, dog." with the boys no, you weren't. No, you weren't. <laughs> and then my mom got mad and she was like if that's my daughter and she whooping on your son's ass and that's my son and he's younger than y'all and she'd bring the birth certificate and i was younger than everybody dog you just said you played eight u soccer with girls <laughs> I oh oh we're not getting off of you we don't have to don't get it twisted was it was the bottle there yes if, if it was in a court of law yeah i used it okay it is not a normal <laughs> it is not it is not this there. Uh, uh, oh, he's me. It. <laughs> the you should know podcast this episode is brought to you by liquid iv Woo! p there's a big misconception with hydration okay a lot of people think you need to be moving a lot of weight in the gym mm. running marathons no. just being a super athlete right no Hydration is important for everybody. It's an everyday life essential. Every single day, whether it's back-to-back -back Zoom meetings, long late night shifts, simply just being a mom or dad and chasing the kids around. Yeah. Everybody, everybody can benefit 
from hydration. Cam, you know I'm a huge advocate for Liquid IV. I've been drinking it since we've been in college together when 100%. we were athletes. Now that I'm not an athlete, I still feel the benefits of Liquid IV. Also, Liquid IV, their packaging, second to none. Amazing. Second to none. And how many flavor options there are with Liquid IV, you'll never get bored. Ever. Liquid IV is perfect for everyday life hydration. 100%. All right, Pete, let's just quickly dive into the benefits that Liquid IV has to offer. I would like to hear some. Starting first, non-GMO, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free. That's always a good thing. I love that. Contains eight vitamins and nutrients for everyday wellness. Ooh. Zero sugar. Zero. None. And with three times the amount of electrolytes as leading sports drinks. Really? Take a Liquid IV, pop it in, three times as many. <sighs> Unbelievable. For daily use, before a workout, when you feel ran down, when your mind's all fogged and tired, anything, Liquid IV is the answer for you. Grab your Liquid IV hydration multiplier sugar-free in bulk nationwide at Costco or you can get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use our code YSK at checkout. That's 20% off anything when you shop better hydration today using promo code YSK at liquidiv.com. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. All right, this, this, this damn main keeps gagging me, but... It was a work with what you got situation. You leave the next day. I don't use five and one ever again. I, I, I know. And five and one is a sin. Not only did you do that. Not only did you do that. Yes or what no. What else did I do? Yes or That's no. That's dirty. Yes or no, Cam. Grime fest. Yes or no, Cam. As a group, as a team, did we go to the mall together this weekend? Yes. Yes or no, did we go out to eat before then? Yes. Yes or no, did we all take our food to go? Yes. Okay. So we went oh straight from the restaurant to the mall. Yes. To go plates in our car. Yes. Right? Yes. Cam got a sandwich, right? It was wrapped up. We go to the mall. We go back to our cars. Cam, as soon as we get back to the car, reaches under his front tire. I'm like, oh, did somebody like put a bottle under his tire as a prank so it pops out when he reverses? I look harder. Cam pulls out his sandwich from the restaurant. We had just gone to an hour and a half ago before the mall. Cam pulls out the sandwich, and I'm like, oh, he's going to throw it away. He put it on his car so his car doesn't smell bad, and he can just throw it away after. Cam begins to unwrap the sandwich. I kid you not. It's my sandwich. <laughs> oh, my God. Cam eats his parking garage under the tire two, two hour old sandwich. And I have it on video. Play the video. Oh Eat it. There's nothing. There's literally you nothing. Are sick. You I are didn't want. I didn't want you my car choice. smelling you have like a number seven. You have a glove compartment. Okay, if you want your car to smell like oil and vinegar, then go for it. Be but. careful. What, is, what did you order? Pastrami on the rocks, this, bro. Uh, it's a regular. Oh, hold on, hold on. From under his car, <laughs> bro. He's eating parking garage meat. That's <laughs> crazy. We went inside. I know that he's eating. There's no. Oh no. What is wrong with that? It's my sandwich under my car. You, Cam, there is crows, rodents, and, and germs under your tire. Why did you put it under the tire? I didn't want my car smelling like vinegar. Oh, but you, be careful. <laughs> but you wanted ants and crow beak to be all over your pastrami sub. Okay, if there was crow beak, we'd be having a different conversation. It was double wrapped. I literally picked it up. I got re-hungry and I ate the sandwich right then and there. And you want to know- No I shame in my bones, in my blood, in me. I don't know. There's no shame. I ate the sandwich. Cam, it was under your tire in a open parking parking hey, garage. jackass, I put it there. Hey, jackass, it didn't move. I put it there so my car didn't smell bad. You are the nastiest human I've ever met in my life. I'm the nastiest human. You're lucky I didn't say that on our live show in New York. You're nasty. I would have I stood on business in New York. Why are you proud of that? First of all, what is so dirty all, about first it? First of all, first of all, your hair smells like your crotch. That's the first problem. Five in one shampoo. You brush your teeth with the same body you wash your ass with. That should be a federal crime. That's illegal. You belong under the prison. Second of all, you're eating a two hour old sub that was under your Michelin tire that I literally saw ants, worms, snails, and rats. 
Feeding off your leftovers. Okay, what mall did we go to where there's snails, crow beak, ants, birds, goo? Yes or no was the parking lot outside? Yes. Yes or no was there a pigeon that walked by right after you put that sandwich in your mouth? Don't know. Oh, of course you know. Yes, there was. Everybody looked at it, and he was like, oh, I thought we were sharing. Because you took the rest of his sandwich that you thought you put there for you. You're nasty as shit. Oh, I had a conversation with a bird. I, have a, I had a conversation with fowl. No, I didn't. Whiskers. What? I don't know. <laughs> you that there's nothing wrong with that. I will die on that. Anything that pa parking garage food. All you have that I am dirty is that I my gums bleed when I wake up in the morning. No, your gums bleed. You stink. No, I don't. You don't stink. Smell me right now. You don't stink. Yeah. Yes or no? Every single time we're in a mall, do you demand me to smell you? Yeah. Why? To check. To check up what? If I smell good or bad. But why are you checking? Because, because you take a lot of pictures in the mall of fans. Because you believe in what? Good hygiene. No, you believe you stink. Okay, yeah, I smell worse than the average human most times. Why? Why is that? We want to get into the dirty conversation. Why do you stink, huh? I think it's a gene problem. Hmm. Dirt. Hmm. No. Nasty. No. No. Smell me right now. Get away from me. Oh. Oh. I just saw the not so pearly gates. I just saw. That that looked like an old fence, <laughs> like a like a wooden barn fence. That was disgusting. I didn't like. <laughs> Dude, awful hair, so hairy. Tiger <laughs> stripes. It's winter. It was tiger stripes. I've been doing squats. <laughs> I told you. No, no. <laughs> You're disgusting. <laughs> you want to go brr on my butt? I ate oh my, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I ate my sandwich, Tin Man. That I put outside of my car. End of story. Yeah, that's f nasty. Y'all got y'all gonna have to let me know. I don't think I did anything wrong. Speaking of food and like preserving food and like you know leftovers and stuff, I I had this weird epiphany from my childhood the, uh, last night in bed when I was crying. <laughs> Why were you crying? I cry a lot. <laughs> I don't have a heart. <laughs> um, but I I I I I, I, I was sleeping. <laughs> You, 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 you were spazzing. Yeah, you, you lost reception, guy. <laughs> I gotta point my antenna. So I, I was laying down and I was thinking about my microwave. <laughs> I'm gonna stop you there. What the hell did you just say to me? You were sitting down thinking about your microwave. <laughs> yeah, I was laying down thinking about my microwave in my bed naked crying and a little wet. <laughs> and so, and I was watching Ed and Eddie on Netflix. I don't even know if it's on Netflix. I might have got a, like a like a fire stick. I don't remember. But I was watching what? a kids' TV show. Maybe Fairly Odd Parents. Timmy, Timmy, Timmy Turner. He was wishing for a burner. And everybody walking. You know that it's on if I want to. Yeah, everybody walking. One, two, three. Sweet chin music in my clock. <laughs> no, these, no, these costumes are making us act up. Uh -oh. Jesus Christ. So, I was thinking about my microwave. What the hell were we talking? <laughs> yeah. The, what? I was so <laughs> Kids like Honda. What? I was thinking about the mic. Your hair got in my mouth. Yeah. Welcome. That sounds crazy. <laughs> I was thinking about my mic hair. Huh? Which piece of hair? <laughs> was it my tail? Was it my downstairs? Okay. No, that's that was. <laughs> I'm so, I apologize. There's kids that watch this. No, I'm. I that was so me. sweaty. So I'm. See, I was thinking about my microwave in bed. That's the crate. Like you look like Bigfoot. <laughs> I was thinking about my bed. I mean, my microwave in my bed, right? <laughs> and I remember. Did you ever have weird microwave rituals as a kid? What the hell did you just ask me? Did you ever have weird microwave rituals as a kid? You had a ritual for when you were young. Yeah. So I would say- You want to know what my ritual was? Open, click time, put it in, start. Yeah, you're, we know your life was f miserable as a kid. You had a horrible childhood. Oh, I did You had to get LASIK when you were six. No, I didn't. And you couldn't breathe on your own. 
So that's mean. So I would always get my hungry man's right. You remember hungry man's? Oh my god! Like, I would eat those religiously. That's good. maybe why my intestines are so just black. I'm just dead on the inside. Yeah. Okay. I can't. Be careful. So I so I would cook the timer was like a minute and a half, right? Okay. I would wait till I got to thirty seconds, and I would run around my uh, house and see how many laps I could get in before the thirty seconds was over, and I would time myself each time to see how many laps I could get. My highest was six. Six to thirty seconds. It's pretty impressive. It's five seconds a lap. I was a fast kid. No, you weren't. It had to stop whenever we got Malcolm, my dog, because I kicked him in the face one time because he was a puppy and he was like to chase me. You know how dogs get in front of you? Yeah. Yeah, and I just accidentally hit him. Didn't seem like much of an accident if he was in front of you. No, he was faster than me. He was a little puppy and he was small and I was a big boy. <laughs> oh! That's the one you swallow. That's the one you keep inside. <laughs> Have you ever shot for women's clothing? The <laughs> Have you? <laughs> no? I went shopping for women's clothing the other Your day. Your mind is just amazing. I've always wanted to wear like... Never mind. Okay, what the hell were you about to say? You've always wanted to wear a lace? <laughs> what? Not like I wanted to, but I wonder how it felt. Like a thong. I wonder how that feels. You... I know, just wait. 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 You want to wear a thong? No, I don't want to. You want to wear a thong? No, I don't. You just said you've always... Matter of fact, you said you've always. Not you. Not it's a recent. You've always wanted to wear a thong. No, I've always wondered how it felt. You got something to say? No, I don't. My ass feels good. <laughs> you agree? It's tiger stripes. <laughs> no, I'm saying like, how is that comfortable? You know what I mean? Like, imagine yeah, a piece of not. yarn in your in your butt crack. Yeah. And you're going like this all day. With, you're playing yo-yo with your ass. <laughs> it's no, a, I, don't, I don't understand it either. Why? What? Time out. Huh. Rewind. Why the hell were you shopping for women's clothing? That's on your business. Oh. <laughs> ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Oh, I think I broke my hand. I think I broke my hand. Oh. Uh, uh. Do you know why I was shopping for women's clothing? No. You know. Okay. Yeah. So I was shopping for women's clothing, right? Oh. That shit, women's clothing is bullshit. <laughs> it is insane. Like, I'll, I was walking down the aisles, right? So damn confused. I was picking up a thing, and it was like three pieces of yarn, yeah. a big-ass blanket, <laughs> and then like some where you put your ankles. And I was like, where does this go on the body? Like, what is this? And it was $79.99. No, there's some shit in Liv's closet. It literally looks like a kitchen towel is connected by like a cobweb. Yeah. And then it, there's just like something for a tit. And, and then like, there's, there's bedazzles somewhere yeah, on it. It's I'm like, like, what is, I'm like, is this the front, back, draws? What is you this? You know what would be funny for a Patreon episode? No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Nope, not happening. It would be like for us to try to figure out where it goes on the body, like and like oh. try to put it on ourselves. Okay. Yeah, that would be funny. I'm down. Like girls with like the backless stuff, like that's the most confused. Like, how does it attach? How do you get it on? You exactly. slide into it. Do you jump on it? So like another friend like corrals it in the back. I, un I, I don't understand. And we talked about this on an earlier podcast, but. Like the coating on pants. Oh my god! Blue forty three yeah. wide wide. They're damn NFL audibles. It's like uh, sky rise high waist nineteen forty two Jim Johnson. I'm like what? Who? I'm like what are you wearing? Yeah, and then you try to get you like say you like show your girl and be like this is it. And I'm like no, that's a that's a Maverick Johnson. You need the, yeah. the Slim Jones. And I'm yeah. like what? I'm like my shit says thirty four. Yeah, like that's all. Thirty four L thirty four W. That's all. All it will ever say. Yeah, and it may, you make it a fit, like yeah. skinny and relaxed, but it's 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 no it's, women's it's clothing. It's it's its own. Uh, it's its own. Cr just it sucks. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. How does it happen? How do you do it? And the I'm the sexy tin man. You look like a flying squirrel, like a webbed squirrel. Like those are your wings. I look like the weekend. Oh 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 no! And my clock is broken. Your little daisy chain. The You Should Know Podcast. Honestly, what is it? Like, what was Teletubbies about? You. You look like a Teletubby right <laughs> now. Because of this thing? No, because the just uh, everything. No. Te were, what the hell were they, though? Were they like big ass bears? That's the thing. I don't understand the plot of Teletubbies. But kids' shows don't. I don't even know if there is plots for like kids. No, kid they shows. do. Kids' shows definitely have plots. I don't think so. I think it's just to keep the like the little kid, like adolescents, like no. watching the show. I can, like, they I, have episodes. I can but, name a hundred kids' TV shows, all of them had plots. Go. Go w uh, Wikipedia. Fairly Odd Parents. That's a cartoon. A kids' cartoon. But no, no, that's a cart. That's a different. Kids that's Next a Door. That's a cartoon. You're naming cartoons. SpongeBob. 
That's a cartoon. What, the what are you saying? A kid's show in a cartoon is completely different. What? A car Cartoons are made for kids, most of them. Okay, yeah, kids. I'm, but a kid's show is like young, like young, young. What's the rating on SpongeBob? Like blue, I don't know. The G for g kids. They literally have a, a girl named Sandy Cheeks and they're in bikini bottom. That's a little, a little pushing an agenda. Okay. That is a cartoon. For, for it's a kid's show. It's on Nickelodeon. Did, yes or no? Did you watch it when you were in high school? Yes or no? Did you watch it in collegiate? No. Age? You didn't have SpongeBob on in our dorm. Wrong bitch. Strike, strike him, strike him. You. I watched The Office in college and high school. And SpongeBob. No, I didn't. Wrong uh, guy. All right, bro. You're, but you're naming cartoons. What yeah, you that's the, what's the difference between a kid show and a cartoon? Bro, a cartoon. Is like what you're naming SpongeBob, iCarly's of the world. That's not okay. iCarly, iCarly, cartoon. That's not really a cartoon, but that's like a that's a show. iCarly's a cartoon now. It's animated. No, no it's not a cartoon, <laughs> but that's like those are all in the same category. Kid shows. Yeah, Grim, Advent Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, cartoon. Yes, for kids. Code Kid Next Door, cartoon. Code Kids. Uh, <laughs> Code Kids name, name. Kids Next Door. Yeah, cartoon. Kids Next Door is a kid show. No, kids it is not. It's in the name. Kids okay, next door. Okay. Our, our definition. I'm saying kids shows is like young shit, like Bubble Guppies, Paw Patrol. Those are baby shows, dumbass. Some For kids kid. that their frontal lobe isn't there yet. Exactly. That's a kid. Their knees aren't there. Their spine isn't developed. They still walk around like that. <laughs> their knees can go. <laughs> <laughs> There's like, ah. but that's what I say is a kid show. Cartoons are <laughs> cartoons. What? <laughs> it's a, oh, another gag. The hair's getting in my mouth. No, but I'm saying like, they all have plots. Because they have different episodes. It's a different genre. I already told you. Every show has different episodes. Yes. Oh my God. Wait, everybody. Shh, shh. I fucking won. I won. I won the debate. No, you didn't. I think we're even now. Oh, you think we're even off of one yes. win? Yes. That's how you know you're a loser. Wow. You, you <laughs> what the hell? It's my birthday. When's my birthday? February 16th. When's my birthday? April 15th. It's tax day. What's my favorite color? Oh, f***. Hmm. Blue? Orange. Hmm. Earth tone. Didn't seem too confident. I don't care about you. Hmm. Well, I know more about you. Good. There's, I'm more interesting than you. Best friend test right now. Go. Okay, best friend test. Yeah. All right. I guarantee I know more than you. I guarantee I know more about you than you do me. All right, let's have a best friend test. Because I've really, recently I've been thinking that you don't love me anymore. Okay. Okay. You, know, you used to spank me on out the door. I used to spank him when he leaves the door. Yeah, have a good day, baby. Have a good day, baby. And then I a, a double kiss. I've never said it like that. I've never said it ever. I've never <laughs> spanked your ass to have a good day, baby. You've never spanked my ass. I've never spanked your ass and said had a good day, baby, with double kiss. Can do it again? No. <coughs> uh, best friend test. Best friend test. All right. Favorite color. Yours? Yeah. Or mine? Mine. Orange. No. <coughs> Wrong. Sorry. What, what's your favorite color? <coughs> Don't get to know. What's my favorite color? Red. Oh. Oh, one zero -oh for the bear. Lion. Okay. What middle school did I go to? What the f <laughs> Am I your best- Am I a friend or a, or a damn P.I.? Um, uh... It's named after a street. It's na A lot of things are named after streets, and streets are named after things. I'll give you a hint. Our logo was the Knights. Independence. I didn't grow up in Dallas. Independence Knights. Kelly Lane. Kelly Lane. What middle school did I go to? I don't give a shit. Oh, no. See, you're, you suck. I know. I know it is. Okay. Foster, foster care. F <gasps> Foster care. I don't want this big ass head. This big head, baby. No, my parents love me. The ones Can you, you say the, the ones same? you have now. The ones you have now that picked you up. It's a dark joke. Mom, get on him. <laughs> Lisa, you know I love you. All right. Um, uh, what? You can't even think of questions to ask me. You yeah, don't you love ask. me. You ask. Okay. What size shoe? Oh, that's not fair. Hmm. Dumbass question. Okay. What's my aunt's name? Carolyn. The other one. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Carolyn and Shelly. Yeah. Suck it. What's my aunt's name? No, you can't do the same question. Because you don't. Care. I've never met your aunt. My throat hurts. I've never met your aunt. You've never met my aunt. I've never met your aunt. You keep me away from your family. You're like, that's my gross <laughs> friend. <gasps> my gross friend is what I call you. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> you didn't see, you don't say that? No!
All right. Okay. Where was I going to go to college if I did not go to the school we went to? to Texas A&M get- Commerce. Wrong. Let me finish. <laughs> okay. Where was I going to go to college if I did not play collegiate basketball? Oh, Oklahoma State University. Yeah. Hey! Oh, f- Hello. Can I join the party? Oh. Oh. F- all right. All okay. right. Um. <laughs> you gotta ask a question. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh. Oh. God. Oh. Don't what, do that. What school? Division one now is a division one school. What school offered me on my signing day to the school we went to? I was signing to the school we went to, but they offered me right before I signed. Mm. It's now a D1. It wasn't at the time. It was a D2. Mm. Tarleton. Oh, shit. Yeah! I love you, boy. You don't love me. I don't. I know you don't. Okay. Okay. Oh, this is a good one I know you're not going to get. Okay. What is the first pet? What kind of animal? And what was its name that ever came to my house? My parents' house. How the hell am I supposed to know that? It's still there, or it it left while you you knew me, but it was there like the first couple times you met me. No, it's not. You saw us. There's only ever one animal. It stunk. In there. there was only one animal no. in there. Was it a cat? No. Hell no. Then you I, you never had two dogs in your house. It never. was a turtle. His name was Jaws. You remember that? Shit. Yeah, it was. Did yeah, I never turned named Jaws. He killed my turtle. All two right. of them. <laughs> what was what was the name of the pet that I had that died of a severe liver Dusty. disease? No. What is the name of the pet that I had that died of a severe liver disease? You had another animal? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Dog? Mm-mm. Wait. Oh, I do remember you saying it was like some weird shit, right? It was a weird animal. No, nope. pretty, I mean. Common? Yeah. You had a cat? Yeah. You had a cat. Died of a severe liver disease. I never met him. Thank God. Sammy, well, girl. I didn't mean to say thank God that was dead. Sick. I yeah. mean, like, thank God. It's a girl. <laughs> say he again. It's a girl. Sammy. She. Thank God that she wasn't there whenever I met you because I would never came over. Wow. I'm allergic to cats. Okay, what's the first name of Mimo? What's her first name? Miriam. No. You don't even know Mimo. I've never even asked her what, what her name is. is. Her name is Mimo to me. What is my grandma's first name? I love Mimo. Hi, Mimo. What's her name? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Luther or something. <laughs> Luther? It's is it like an older person name? Well, no shit. She's old. Ma- Margaret. Close. Maggie. No. M A is correct. M Ma- A is right. Yes. Macy. No. Maya. No. May. No. What is it? What is the name of the friend? Her name is Martha. I love you, Mimo. Hi, Mimo. I love you. What is the name of my friend that I took you over to her house and we all played games that one night? We played a uh, catchphrase and you had a panic. You had a panic attack. That's a lot of nights. Oh, wait, give me more of the situation, like the scene, because I do remember doing that. It was that. you, me, Ryan, uh, Edgar was there. I think Steven. It was a girl's house we went to? Girl's house. Huh? Was it Tiff? No. Who was it? I think, I don't know if Tiff was there. Were they black or white? White. Oh, God. That's, that really shrinks it down with your friends. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Who was it? Macy. I don't remember Macy her. Farno. I don't think I was there. Pastor Mark's daughter. I don't think I was there. You were 100% there. Oh, yeah, I was because I wasn't having a good time because I didn't know anybody <laughs> and I was already anxious and then y'all made me play an anxious written game. So, yeah, I do remember that. But I think we have something to debate about. <laughs> okay. So, it's, it's clear to say that I know more of you. More of me? Yeah. Or do I just share more? Because I trust you and I confide in you. You are a close cinder block of less emotions, hatred, and evil. Oh my God. (laughs) What the hell? There's my gross (laughs) friend. (laughs) Is that how you feel about me? Yeah. You are are a a layer. Ooh, sharp fangs. (laughs) Don't put that back. You were spitting in that. Hey, sharp fangs. You were spitting in that. Dude. It's so salty. (laughs) That's your blood mouth. <laughs> oh, Cam, this is something I, I've been thinking about, right? Yes. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy that we're on the phone, right? Mm-hmm. You can be in Wisconsin. I can be in Florida, right? Totally different sides of the world. Never been to Wisconsin. They're on the exact same side of the world. <laughs> <laughs> we can be on the phone in two different locations, right? Okay. And we think it's in real time. Isn't it crazy that phone calls are not in real time? Like, like I'm saying, so like, right, say you're over there. Say you're in Tallahassee, Florida, oh, and I'm in Austin, Texas. Sure. And I'm like this, right? Never been to Tallahassee. Me neither. And so, say I'm like this, right? Okay. 
Hey Cam, how are you doing? What's up bro, I'm good, how are you? Isn't that crazy? It's like a two second delay. Well no shit, it has to go to the sky and come back Isn't down. Isn't that crazy, but it think like in FaceTime. Like when we FaceTime. It's not even a two second delay, it's pretty like right no, on. No, no it's not. Yes it no, is. No it's not. No it's not. You act like No it's, it's not. Okay bro, you act like we're sending a damn message through a pigeon and he's having a fly. What? It's, you're literally saying, hey, and I'm saying, hey, right back. No, two seconds later. No, it's because not. Because have you ever been on the phone with somebody in the car? You probably have shit service then. Who's your provider? Verizon Wireless. Me too. Okay. Good service. I take exactly. it back. Exactly. And so I'm in my car, and I'll say, hey, Cam Wynn, and then I'll hear, hey, Cam Wynn, in your car, and then no. you'll hear, it. yes? Yeah. How are you going to tell me what I hear? Cause you're trying to you're you're doing this damn conspiracy. Oh, it, it's a weird. It it's takes not a time. conspiracy. It it's no, it's not. Bro, if you talk to me on the phone on Facetime, especially if you call me and you do a move, it might be millisecond delay. M two seconds. I counted. I counted when I was on the phone with you earlier today. What the hell do you gain from this? Why did you bring this up? I thought it was cool. It's not. I thought it was cool. I'm sorry. Isn't that crazy though? You look like a little kid. That's not crazy. It's so normal. Whatever. Speaking of phones, I have another phone thing. This is so embarrassing that I'm about to reveal this on the internet. Okay. So my parents back home, they miss me. I haven't seen them in a while. They're going through baby pictures, and my mom always has oh. collections of my old items. God, my mom too. They found my old iPod. Okay. Right? My old iPod from like middle school. Okay. That's, that's a dangerous device. <laughs> and they went to the Notes app. Oh my God. And at the time in middle school, I always knew that I was going to drop out of school. I was like, I'm not going to be in school. I'm not going to have a regular job. I'm going to do something creative. I just didn't know at the time what it was. So at the time, I was, I was thinking, maybe I could be a rapper. No, no, there's not. So I had some bars. No, written, you did not. And I wrote it and I write these in class. And at the time, I was super in and Eminem. So I kind of tried to get like him. Oh, you had evil bars. And my mom sent me the screenshot. <laughs> or it's not the screenshot, she sent me a picture. Of, my mom sent me a picture of the phone of my right bars. Now. You have to rap for us right now. This is going to be awful. I swear to God, this is real too. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I, this is real. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, dog, because it's, my tin man suit's getting hot. I, I am so nervous. I don't even know why. My heart is racing right now. I'm so scared. Jesus, you sound like a bad car trying to start. Flunked out of science class twice. That's your opening start. I was really trying to make it out. Just calling yourself a dumbass. That's, that's, the, that's the rhyme scheme. Let's hear it. Flunked out of science class twice. Flunked out of math once. It's like... Do you have any substance besides your bad grades? <laughs> Flunked, out. Flunked out of science class twice. Flunked out of math once. That's a three time fail. It all comes together. <laughs> Ready? Oh. Flunked out of science class twice. Flunked out of math once. That's three times fail. Guess I'm not that bad at school. Admit me in a full sale. What? <laughs> that is awful. That's so bad. That's so bad. Did you get it? Did you get it? Oh, this is it. I'll read it. 
One more time. I get what? The bar. That shit, there was no bar to be had. That was awful. <laughs> get it? Because twice in science, once in math, that's a three, three times, times fail. fail. Guess I'm not that bad at math because I knew how much two times three. <laughs> Wait, what? I didn't even think about it. <laughs> the bar went over your head, didn't it? It was actually not that bad. I didn't even think about that. Say it again. Okay. All the way start through. Okay. Give it some cadence. All right, you want some cadence? Yeah. Flunked out of science. That's <laughs> Flunked out of science class twice. Flunked out of math once. That's a three times fail. Guess I'm not that bad at school. Admit me in a full sale. The university. That was online in the The worst part about that. Okay. I don't know if I hate the fact that you're just, you suck at school. Clearly. Or if you think adding two plus one really does something for you in this case. And Full Sail University is a pure creative college. They don't give a shit if you can add That's the bar. To one. Get it? I'm bad at school. Three times fail. I can still get into Full Sail, though. Admit me into that, John. That's a bar. That you like it a little bit. You got a rap genius, that, John. That you can't. That went over the head. When did you turn into like an O Block 10 man? <laughs> like you just got out of nowhere. What? That was horrible. <laughs> Your mom should burn that iPad. iPod. Burn it. That's what you did in class? Yeah, all the time. Is there I, more? I had because remember in eight mile Eminem had the composition notebook? Yeah, that was so sick. I made a composition I tried notebook to do that too. One. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I tried to do it. I literally wrote maybe one rhyme and I was like, I'm done. <laughs> and then Run DMC had those big ass like gold rope chains. Mm -hmm. So I remember I'd get tin foil and I'd crinkle it up and I'd make a chain out of it and I spray painted it gold. I wore it to school. I don't give a shit. You? It's like Halloween was every day of your adolescence. Every single day. This is my most comfortable right now. Holy I, shit. Um, bro, you said a... T That's a bar. You started off your rap. I failed science class twice. Yeah. I failed math class once. Yeah. That's a three times. That's a three times fail. fail. Guess I'm not that bad at school. It made me, me a full sale. That's a bar. That is ass. <laughs> that is trash. So bad. You think so? You were so innocent. I wasn't gonna make it out like that. You were. Oh hell no. You would have made it straight to the damn to the, your basement, <laughs> to the Harry Potter lounge. I remember when I cooked that up in science. I was you like, you were probably sitting there. Uh, you were probably, you were going like this. Your tail was getting happy. You said, oh oh. I was like, I was like, y'all gonna next time y'all see me, y'all gonna be pulling up to the high school reunion. I'm in a Lambo. <laughs> Off of that bar right there, that full sale bar wouldn't have got you a damn pack of ramen. That shit would not have paid for anything. Uh, that is horrible. God, I, I appreciate your your openness though. The you should know podcast, gentlemen across the nation. I have an urgent message for you. This episode is brought to you by Manscaped. The brand that took your balls to space is now launching them to the ultrasphere, introducing Manscaped's fifth generation performance package. And guess what, Cam? What is that? It's featuring the all new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. We actually have it right here, Cam. We're about to go to New York. We are. I have to use the Lawnmower 5.0. I've realized my barnyard smells bad if I don't oh. manscape it. So thank God we got sent this Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, and it's the favorite thing I've ever used on the man area. Swing it this way. Let me let me see that guy. This is the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, not Ooh. the not the 5.0 regular. Nope. Not the 5.0 special. Nope. Ultra. Ultra. And they named this bad boy Ultra for a damn reason. Tell me why. Okay, so you already know it's Manscaped. You already know it's waterproof. Amazing LED lights. So many things to make it very, very simple to tame that mane, if you know what I'm saying. You got a mane. Oh, if I have a mane up here, yeah, you already know. So, you want to know why this is called the 5.0 Ultra? It doesn't just have one, your standard bandard. It has two interchangeable skin safe blades, a standard one for taking a little off the top and the new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires. We want y'all to join in on the fun, so get 20% off in free shipping with the code PSH at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use code PSH. Your balls have been through enough. It's time to go ultra with Manscaped. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. 
All right, enough of your little M&M, little bunny rabbit over here. None of that. That shit is ass. Yeah, whatever. But I, I have a question for you. I want to I wanna pick your brain this time in the animal kingdom. I have a good brain. I don't know about that, but since you're so adamant about, oh, I watch Animal Planet. I do watch I Animal Planet. I know all things about animals, but you always say the dumbest of answers. I'm, I'm really good with animals. Stupid. Okay. I have a would you rather for you. I love them. Would you rather okay. be stung by a warrior wasp or a duck-billed platypus? That might be the easiest answer I've ever had, and I'm finally going to win one of these. No, you're not. A warrior wasp. I easiest thing I ever. It. You're so... Oh, I bro. finally won. I finally won. I finally won. Pick up a damn book for once. Pick up a book. Oh, it's crazy because I don't have to. You know why? You think a warrior wasp is worse than a duck-billed platypus? Yeah. A duck-billed platypus? Yeah. What do they do all day? Just swim in the pond? Probably, but they can sting the shit out of somebody if they need to. They have horns? I, don't, I think it's their tail. They just whack them. But oh, it's like like an electric fly swatter. A duck bill platypus has the stinging power of a hundred hornets. Okay, great, cool. So what? Yeah, cool. So what? Hurts like shit. Way worse than warrior wasp. I got a way to get away from that. Don't go around it. Them bitches can't run a thousand miles per hour. Hey, duck bill platypus. See ya. Don't want to pet you. Bye bye. That's not. You're not in an open world simulator. But with you know, it. and guess what? Wasp, you never know. I could be sitting here and it's a mother it's a warrior wasp. The name warrior is in the name. That means warrior wasp. That means he can fight. So what? Which sting is worse is what I said. Would you rather be stung by? And I'm picking the warrior wasp. 100%. N n why? A duck billed platypus is equivalent to a hundred hornets. Hey, a warrior wasp has never been a main character in a TV show before. What? Perry. Phineas and Ferb, is it, you need to read a book, bro. You're a grown-ass man. The only thing you can quote for your argument is a damn cartoon. Yeah. No, it's not. Because guess what? Yeah. No. <sighs> Maybe. Yeah, no. Pick a side. No, because a warrior wasp, guess what? Wasps have caused thousands of diseases in this world. Really? Name two. Ebola. Nope. Really? Yep. Swine flu. Nah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> but, but they have. They've, they've carried diseases. Yes or no? No! A wasp doesn't carry diseases. That's mosquitoes, dumb sack of shit! I thought they were- They're cousins. No, they're not. <laughs> they're second cousins. They're not even the same phylum. I don't know if that's- So they thing. can kiss and it's not weird. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, a warrior wasp, right? You get stung a warrior, he's gonna yell hymns into you of his native language. He's gonna be like, I for the country! Salukana! <laughs> yeah. No. A duck-billed platypus is gonna hurt worse. Have 100%. You, have you ever been stung in the foot by a wasp? No. You can't use that foot for two days. A duck bill platypus. And it's a warrior wasp. A duck bill platypus literally can put someone they get stung by out of commission for weeks. No, they can't. No, they cannot. No, they cannot. No, they cannot. What, which one are you most likely to get stung by? I don't uh, Probably a wasp. Okay. All right, that I win. wasn't the question. See, that's why you don't get to do the would you rathers. That's why you don't get to ask them. Because you always specify to subsist from them. <laughs> what? You always specify them to where it, it narrows to your answer. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Which one would you rather get bit by if you weren't in a You're pond of water and Phineas and Ferb never existed? All That's I, what you said. All I said is, which would you rather get stung by? You're the one saying, oh, well, I'm not ever going to be close to water. Which you have a more likelihood. You add the extra variables. Yeah, I'm just saying an open world simulator. They are on different dimensions. We're yeah, not oh, in an open world simulator. A warrior wasp. If, you were, if you're armed, read a if, book. If you're, you read a book. A warrior wasp hasn't been used in war. That's why they called it that. In 1800 BC, it, read something. Maybe an encyclopedia. Maybe. In 1800 BC, I'm saying if you stick your arm through a glass pane and there's either a, a platypus. See, <laughs> where are we getting glass panes from? Where That's you're getting the this? scenario? You stick your arm. Are you rather getting whacked by Perry or are you getting stung by the warrior? Perry's never hurt anybody. He does investigations. Because he knows he can murk somebody if he needs to. Yeah, a wasp, they don't even play play with them. They don't, they're not using this as a kid show because they don't want a kid going up and a warrior wasp grabbing it, then they're gone. Bye bye. They damn sure don't want a kid grabbing a platypus. You can grab a platypus. Go, Who do you think you are? Gra grab a grab. Who are you? I can grab a platypus. Who? It's like grabbing a turtle. You grab it by its shell or away from the fangs. Platypuses don't have shells. Yes, they do. And they do. don't have fangs. Yes, they do. They don't have shells. They don't have I fangs. I didn't say the fangs. I you said, just said you grab it by its shell away from its fangs. I said that for the turtle. Listen, I can tell you you, you were bad at school. You cheated. Oh, because you were just a, you were goaded in English. Yes. You suck. You need to go back to your goaded English class and read. You're dumb as hell and stupid as shit. Let's help you. Be careful. Let's help some people out and then we'll get out of here. Let's do it. 
Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P. Look, and I got my heart today for my Dr. P segment. Hold on, let me take off my glove. Dr. P, the best love doctor in the country. A couple people reached out to Secretary Camp for Dr. P, so I have one for you this week. You can keep your job. You're almost getting fired. Please don't tell him. <laughs> Here we go. Dear Dr. P. Hello. I met this girl on my campus. I'm assuming it's college if he said campus. Campus is college. Okay. I met this girl on my campus. Unless he's from Britain. I met... Read in a British accent. He might be from Britain. I met this girl on my campus. Yeah. No, I'm not, I can't do that. Okay. I met this girl on my campus. Okay. Started to talk to her. Good. We formed a somewhat good bond. Don't know what that means, but we'll try to work through it. Jesus. We formed a somewhat good bond. After getting to know her for a couple weeks, I just came out and said it. No, no, <laughs> watch it. He said, I just came out and said it. Do you have a boyfriend? To which she replied, yes. Oh, shit. I need to know her answer. Even though she said yes. Oh, my God. I don't feel like backing off. That my dog. What would you advise in this situation? Oh, Dr. Wow, P. first off, shout out this guy. Holy shit. I lo- you know Dr. P loves him a little toxic. He's, he's bold. I love so he's straight toxic. up a five-second recap. This okay. man likes a girl, starts talking to her. Hey, you got a man? Sure do. That's cool. Don't care. What do I do? That's what he's saying. You're already on the right track, playboy. This oh is what I got to say. Toxic, Dr. This P. is what I got to say. It really depends on what their relationship was before he asked that. What do you mean? So if she was giving flirty vibes, mm-hmm. she's down for the cheat. Mm. And he might have messed it up by asking that question. Mm. You know what I mean? But So if you're saying if he would have stayed low-key. Stayed low-key and done some... In- Un- D- Uncle P, Dr. P is always for your self-investigative research. Okay. You need to find out the information before you ask it. Okay. He should have done the stalking. He should have done, done the lurking. Mm-hmm. Stalking on Instagram, not on <laughs> I was about in to person. Say, uh, watch not it. in person. Stalking the Instagrams, you should have found out all this information. And then you could have gone two different routes with that. You could have known she had a boyfriend, ignored it, Oof. kept the flirt going, and then got to the apex and then been like, I, I know you, na- you, you cheating, you low down. Two, mm. still ask her. Mm. You grabbed the same finger for one. Still two. ask there her. That's two. And then see if she lies about it or not. And you could see that's why you always got to do see, your, you're a professional so you're a professional that's like watching game film before going to the game you got to know the defense well, you got to know your opo- opponent you, exactly you got to know who you're guarding do you mm. push them left right and so then right now this is what you got to do you you put yourself in a little bit of a, a, a sticky bind what you have to do is be respectful she told you yes i have a boyfriend so you be like right now you have to play the role as the good friend okay as a good friend you have good energy Always, always a smile. Always a smile. You never bring her any problems because that's what boyfriends are for. Maybe bring a drink. Maybe bring me bring a drink to the next study. Like session. a diet coke. Maybe. Okay, I was thinking like a Starbucks. It's a female. Okay. Hey, girls that drink diet coke, call me. <laughs> um, you look like a diet coke. <laughs> this is you, and, and so you always be. You always bring her good times. You never bring her any problems. You never bring her any any controversial things ever. That's what the boyfriend boyfriends are put on this earth to give girlfriends headaches. The the this, the the rebound, the side, piece. the side piece is always there to get the mind off the boyfriend. You have to it's play sick world the best in. side piece ever. I, Dr. P, not Peyton Harden, but Dr. P is notorious for being a great rebound and a great side piece. Because I will never bring you problems. Just laughs and giggles and great hugs. Okay, so final diagnosis for this patient. You be what, res- would you, what would you advise if you were in his position? Be respectful. Okay. Don't bring her problems. Okay. And let that ship your sail. What was that? Let that roll your motion. You're, you're missing a couple things. Let that butter your biscuit. There we go. Okay. I'll take that one. All right, guy, you heard it. I'm not going to say your name to protect you and maybe this woman as well. Give us an update, too. Yeah, definitely uh, DM me back, and we're, we might just talk about that next week. See how it happened. Cause he's in a prime position. I've, I like this guy. You should know, family. What was that? That was... Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P, Dr. P. Guys, we are not going to have a pop culture this week because we have a plane uh, to go catch. We're literally dressed as a pop culture, so that should be enough. But 
Episode 84, spooky season is upon us. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Everybody, uh, please be safe when you go out trick-or-treating with friends, family. If you got kiddos, definitely be safe. Check your candy, all that stuff. It's very, uh, it's sad we have to say it, but it, we do have to say it. So make sure you stay safe. Oh, if you're going to Halloween parties, do not drink and drive. Uber, it's not worth it. This one night of your life is not worth your life, your, your family's life, or innocent bystanders' and life. I'm going to go one further. If you go, it's okay, can't fit on my name. It's my glorious golden locks. Uh, if you're going to parties, make your own drinks, make your own everything. Don't yes. let anybody give you anything. Just yeah. be super, be cautious, be very vigilant uh, this weekend. I mean, 365, but especially this weekend. But that was the Halloween episode. Let us know what you absolutely loved about it. The code to get your good karma. He's very ten. His tin foils getting. It's all getting crooked. Code for good karma. Confuse the casuals. This week is. What do you think it is? H H. H H what? W. No. H H K. Happy Halloween, kids. Koalas. Koalas. Come on now. Happy Halloween, koalas. Happy Halloween, koalas. You can leave that. You can leave H H K. Leave it everywhere. Remember the Facebook page. Linked in the description. There's multiple accounts already out there oh, of um, best way to say it. Probably fans of ours that just love the content and they're kind of posting their own stuff. But we want uh, everybody official home. on the official home. So it the real one is going to be linked in the description. Follow that one. Uh, all sorts of updates. We're just going to reach a whole new uh, crew of people out there. And even if you follow us on other stuff, go over to Facebook. Add to that follow as well. We absolutely love you all. New York, we are literally about to go catch a flight. And we're going to see you here in a couple nights. Well, we've already, we've already seen, seen you. you. It was fantastic to meet all of you. Recap you so next good. week. You looked so, so good, New York. But we're going to get a brief recap on next week's episode and then a full recap on the Patreon next week. 100%. We absolutely love y'all. And remember, one out of ten koala bears don't make it home to Christmas, and we will see you What's next it? time. I do believe in spooks. I do, I do, I do. I do. I know I have a heart because it's broken. There you go. We love you.